Good morning folks and uh, welcome to Grandpa Works. Uh, this is going to be my second video and uh, I don't know, there's a, hopefully I'm doing this right. Can you, hopefully you can hear me, hopefully you can understand me, and hopefully you'll, you can see what I'm trying to show you here. I'm converted, I converted I should say, a uh, 12 inch fluorescent light that was run off of eight AA batteries, uh, alkaline batteries. And you know as probably as much, as much as I do that alkaline batteries, they cost an arm and a leg. Well, not quite, but they cost so much. And you have to keep buying them over and over and over again to keep this thing going. Uh, heck with that. I had an old, broken down laptop, so I stripped it down took the battery apart, found the good cells in it. These happen to be 17670s, which are longer and narrower than the 18650s. Uh, so I'm using those, these, the uh, 17670s in this application because they're narrower and they fit inside much better than a 8, 18650, which I'd have to do a whole bunch of modification, which I'm not going to do. So anyway... Let's get to the point. Uh, I'm going to have to put you on pause and put this thing together. But basically what it is is that this is the chamber where the eight AA batteries went into. And you can see the positive right here, which is connected to the other side here, the positive wire. So when you put the cap on, uh, hang on one second. Uh, let me do a switch here. Uh, you can take a look at my beautiful arm here. Hold on here. Okay. Uh, here's the end cap, and which connects to the this when you put this cap on, connects to the positive end. And I made a uh, a temporary uh, spring with tin. So when you connect this on here, it'll make the connection of the positive in a series all the way through, and the negative is down below and the pole down below. And turn on the switch and lights. You will have lights. But anyway, that's basically how this thing works. And so I converted it, got rid of the double A's, and now I'm using rechargeables from now on. And and other than that, there these are about 4.1, 4.2 volts a piece. So you put them together in a series, of course, it, it's over 12 volts. And that's what this is, a 12-volt fluorescent light. So anyway, so if you got one of these laying around, convert it to a rechargeable one. You know, you'll, be ha you'll be happy, I think. I think you will. I know I'm going to be. Uh, so that's it. Let me put you on pause, put it together, and show you the light. Let there be light. <sighs> all right, folks, I'm back. I got it all together. And now the... What, what everybody's waiting for to see me try to turn this thing on. I had to turn off some of the lights here so that way maybe you can see the brightness or the illumination of the fluorescent light when it comes on. And there it is. Hang on here for a second. Sorry, folks. I had a stroke, so my left hand or left side isn't all that great. But anyway, here we go. There you go. I also put a little piece of uh, uh, tin at the, on the bottom that what they had was a piece of plastic on there, white plastic. So I put the this tin more to be more reflective and give more light. Uh, and so if I were to to get it up, I'm sorry, it's a little struggle here to get this thing go. You can see that how it lights up already. Okay, so anyway, that's my video. Hopefully, you'll get yourself together and, uh, and get recyclables, rechargeables, I should say, working on your flashlights. Rechargeables, the 1.8, 650s, and the 1.7, uh, uh, 670s work pretty good with all your flashlights so uh, 
I mean, I could go on and on. I probably will do maybe another video or so uh, of these things, converting these things over. I'm happy I'm, I, I'm doing it. So uh, it's not only keeping myself busy because, you know, because of my disability, but uh, it's, it's functional. It's, it's, so hopefully you, you like it, this video. If not, uh, give me a comment and tell me how lousy I am at uh, showing you how to do this. And I don't want to go through each and every step because it'll take me three or five days probably to do it. And I'd have to get a, a real camera and so I can edit and all that kind of stuff, the video. I'm just doing this on the phone real quick bam bam boom if you like it fantastic give me a like other than that you all have a good day and uh st say stay safe and keep wearing those masks no matter what talk to you soon bye